Hello, this is Eric at the Prince George Ford Preland Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2010 Ford Flex in a uh, limited trim and powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine, providing you with plenty of power to get around and all wheel drive capabilities, so you're going to be able to get around pretty well in the changing weather conditions. Uh, but let's take a look inside. So, your back hatch does open with the simple press of a button. Uh, very gently and nice. Uh, looking in the back where you have two extra seats that can be up or down flush, uh, providing you with a total seating of seven in this vehicle. They even get their own cup holders and little compartments for storage, so that's always nice. And there's a 12 volt back here, so you can plug something in there. And then the hatch does close again with another simple press of button. And now looking in the back seat where you have a ridiculously large opening, so you can uh, be sure to have ease of access to the back seat where you have a nice full leather interior. Uh, your back passengers get their own climate controls as well as a 110 volt and a 12 volt power outlet. And then two cup holders with more storage in there. So that's always nice too. Oh, and cup holders in the doors. And now looking in the front where you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks as well as power adjustable uh, pedals and two memory buttons for your power adjustable driver seat. I'd assume your pedals and also your uh, mirrors. So now sitting in the vehicle with it running you can see that it's sitting at uh, 159,732 kilometers. Moving down to the steering wheel on the right hand side you have your hands-free phone and radio controls and on the left hand side you have your cruise control buttons. Um, Moving up to your buttons here, which you can use to adjust what is displayed here on your little info screen, uh, such as your trip A mileage, your trip B mileage, your distance to empty, your fuel economy, uh, trip timer, and then blank. So you have some important information there. You do also have this nice wood grain paneling throughout the vehicle, uh, just adds to the luxury of the vehicle, but moving on to your infotainment center, which is, I'd assume, radio, serious, CD, auxiliary, and USB, I think. Uh, so you do have quite a few options there for whatever you want to listen to, however you want to listen to it. Moving down from that, though, you have uh, your physical climate controls here with dual climate and heated front seats, so you can stay comfortable in any weather. And then you also have the uh, master controls, you might say, for your rear climate. And then down here you have this compartment, your main shifter, two cup holders, a cubby there for storage, and then your center compartment slash armrest, which has your auxiliary USB and another 12 volt inside, as well as the button to change your interior lighting color, which uh, shows up in your cup holders, down in the footwell area, and in here, obviously, you can change that to a variety of different colors, so that's pretty neat. But that's sure. Oh, shifting into reverse, you can't see it, but you do also have rear sensors that will beep to alert you if you're about to hit anything. So that's also pretty useful. But that should cover our look at the interior. So now, if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250 563 8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.